wind force fusion. And for those who want to swap their turbos on their 2.7 or 3 liter EcoBoost on the CD4 chassis or F150 2.7, pay attention. This could be very important. Um, there's a lot of gaskets and seals that you need to order. Now, you, you there's two ways you could go. Uh, the easiest way that I found out now, there's actually a manly kit that sells all the little gaskets, metal head gaskets for the manifolds, uh, heads or downpipes. Uh, on the left, as you can see, it's all the 2.7 3 liter uh, CD4. And this will fit any factory turbos. Uh, the MKZ turbo, if you put them on a 2.7, and when I say MKZ Continental is the 3 liter, obviously, or uh, any uh, CPR, Pure Revolution, any hybrid turbos, basically, uh, you'll need those gaskets, seals, and bolts, and so on. So uh, you can see the difference between the F-150 and all the CD4 chassis. It's the downpipe uh, donut here. Uh, on the cars and SUVs, it's uh, that weird one that's here and on the uh, F-150. So it's basically almost the same except one. As you can see, uh, you could find that at Rock Auto if you want that. Or if you're going to the dealership, I'm going to provide you all the part numbers. Quickly on the right in the middle and at the table, you could see all the seals and gaskets or whatever. But on my left here, I... Um, We'll focus here for about 10, 15 seconds. You, this is all what you need, the quantity. Okay. You, if you have a, um, a CD4 chassis, um, these, I strongly recommend to change you, especially if it's the second time you dismantle, uh, you did the downpipes first and now you're doing the turbos, order these ASAP. These are for the front dry shaft. They come, this is actually, you need three quantities. Uh, this part number is this one. So you need to quantity three times. Believe you and me, you need to change this because the, these are somewhat weak and those cars do produce a good amount of um, torque. Okay, so this is a must. Uh, these pink, it's in the in the manly heat. These pink ones and this uh, weird plastic ring there, they're, they're on the head itself. And all the, uh, the medium one and the small one, it's all, if we look on the left here, you could see it's all these tubes that goes in the turbo for oil and for coolant, okay? These are uh, all bearing turbos. So the medium blue, it's oil. One of these are oil and these two are coolant. And also, since you're there, I strongly recommend you to get the bolts. It's in that list I showed you um, because we, you never know if you remove them, if you're gonna strip one, destroy one, whatever. Just order them, you'll have them in spare. Um, I have a... a Actually, I'm missing three bolts, so they're, they're going to come uh, this uh, Monday, Tuesday, because I'm planning on Wednesday to do the turbo swaps. But I just want to put this in record with all the part numbers. Now, this is what you need, but you also you will obviously need oil, and you'll need at least 6.8 quarts of oil. I know it's, uh, it's 6 quarts, but once you remove the turbos, You'll see uh, if you let it drain, uh, it, you're going to fit seven quart of oil. So if you put six, you're going to be missing a quart of oil. And obviously a filter go with a factory or a premium one. Also, another thing I want to discuss is the coolant. Because obviously you're going to empty your coolant. Do not save your old coolant. Recycle it. Change it. If it's a 17, 18, you're already in the years. Now, if you change it last week, I understand if you want to keep it. But you still have the factory one. And this is a big change. The factory, it's the orange. But if you go to Ford, you won't have it anymore. So now it's the yellow. Okay, you got prelude or concentrate. Okay. Uh, I bought one of each because 
you'll need a total of um, uh, two gallons of uh, basically two uh, well this is concentrate so you'll put one of this in one of uh, uh, demineralized water okay so uh, basically non uh, water with no minerals that's what you need or you get two of this preluded one all right so this is what's on the table you don't have to do it, but if you practice good di diligence and you want to increase the reliability of your CD4 chassis, I strongly recommend you to change a serpentine belt. Okay, hey, I'll, show, I'll zoom in in the, uh, the part number so you know that was purchased at the dealership. Also, since you're there, I would strongly recommend you, if you never did it, uh, to drain your ATF fluid. Uh, go. You can go motor, uh, Motorcraft LV or get the AC Delco one. It's the same transmission that's in, in a lot of GMs, that, that six-speed transmission. Uh, so you'll need about minimum five quarts to up to six quart. Depending on the angle of your car, it's going to be around that. Usually it's five quart, but I managed to uh, drain five and a half one day. Uh, I already, my car is at 48,000 kilometers. Let's say... Uh, uh, 35,000 miles, maybe a little less. And I already done this four times. I drain. I, I love to see the liquid cherry. I don't want to get it dark. Uh, PTU, I strongly recommend. I do it every year. And we have 75W140 uh, in our PTU. And it takes a total of one quart. If you drain it well, one quart. What I don't have at the table... It's the rear end, their RDU, the rear differential unit. Uh, I do it at Ford. It's a 80W90. I just do it at Ford because you, you there's no drain plug and you, you need to suck it out and all that. So they have the machine to do it. I just do it. And the guy who works there, uh, hello, Steve. I, um, I have faith in him, let's say. Uh, another due diligence you may want to do since you're going to, uh, do a, a an extended um, how do you call that uh, oil drain i strongly recommend you to do an uh, oil flush and that's what i have on the right uh, go to your local part and get your your uh, oil flush uh, engine flush sorry i should say engine flush and since you're going to change a coolant especially for those who who race or are down south uh, get yourself a um a be cool or a, uh, a lot of company makes it like Royal Purple, this one, and other companies. So maybe that's an extra due diligence you could do. And uh, I usually like to change also the lower rad holes or top rad holes. But I look at mine and they're in great shape. So I'm not going to change them yet. But maybe in three, four, five years I may change them. So I hope this video helps. And, um, you know, it's... One thing that's important though, when you do this job, don't don't be in a hurry. Uh, do it safely and try to do it with people with knowledge and equipment. Uh, you could do it in a garage at home, but I strongly recommend you to have a, a lift uh, because it, it, there's some stuff to, to, to be removed, especially if you still have the factory cats down pipes. Uh, there, you, know, you have to wiggle stuff around. Uh, slightly remove the AC um, stuff like that so make sure you find qualified people to do this with you and uh, enjoy the increased power so pretty soon I'll come with a video with the turbo the new CRP uh, turbos installed take care bye